But the fun thing is that along with another toy. Oh my god. <laughs> that yeah. was like a three a duck mitts. two one go. I've also like little, never heard of that. It was like a duck puppet stuffed toy, but like you it quacks when you open the mouth. <laughs> That's, That's all it is. Amazing. <laughs> it two of those. That and the chicken tower thing. One of our Pomeranians, the the one that lived the longest, funny enough. She like a couple years old after we first got her. Across the house, like up a flight of stairs around like a couple corners. She would run and she would fight that thing. <laughs> she would hear it and be on the attack. And it was amazing. Fantastic. She could have been like a security dog. A horrifying Pomeranian. <laughs> <laughs> So many toys. Yeah, I think I don't know, most of our toys are just gone from that time. Partially because a lot of them broke. But, you know, Chicken yeah. Tower or whatever it was. Come on. Same thing with the game called Oh Henry. It's like a little like soundboard matching game. Where like, memorize the sounds and match them with the other one. Oh. That battery was also dying. But that one was less funny and more horrifying, because it turned itself on at night sometimes. <laughs> those are the good old days of toys. That's amazing. I miss those days. I don't miss those days. Does Fortnite ever just turn itself on and make low battery power sounds? I don't think so. Uh, no, but Facebook might. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> God, I hate that. Oh, I, I misread Hangman's question for a second. I thought you asked, should you get a quill? And I thought, like, yeah, I guess you're a writer, sure. Quill would be, be cool. Oh, nice. Epic. And I held right that time. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Just for Muzz. Every sentence reference I make is just for Muzz. I selfishly make Simpsons references for myself, but Oof. I don't fight the fact that Muzz will appreciate them too. Yeah, cause I'm just forgetting a lot of them as I get older. So I don't really rewatch the show because I don't really have means to. At least easily. I rewatched what? season What's five uh, over the last couple weeks because it's the best season and also the one that I have a box set for. Uh, and it's exactly as good as I remember. That show's fantastic. Well, like, for dinner as a, a household pet? Fuck. Gotta bonk. You don't bonk, game. Game, you don't bonk. Um, Eliza, I think the last time I played... Monopoly with other people was like 15 years ago and I'm not sure I ever played by the real rules so I don't know if I like it or not that's a fun thing growing up playing what you think is the right version of the game yeah and then like you look at someone else playing and you're like what <laughs> because yeah I also don't really care for Monopoly myself One of the... I'm not a huge board game person really enough like, I like a lot of board games, but, like, if it's super complicated and it needs, like, 20 minutes to explain and another hour of playing to maybe get, it's usually where I dip out. I like... The game I, long. I like games that complicated as long as everybody is on board with them. I'm not as big a fan of them when it's True. one or two people putting it on four or five other people. Which happens occasionally. I mean, people do eat quail, and eggs of quail. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's not an unusual thing. It's not super common, but kind of expensive. But yeah, yeah. Not like, have you ever heard of the game called like Order of the Stick? No. On like little like, on a card based like dungeon crawler, that game could take like two to three hours for a game, but like it's fine because it's like it's really fun actually. Hmm. But if it's just like 
If I'm playing the game Monopoly for four hours straight, three hours straight, I will want to kill someone. <laughs> That's fair. I, uh, my brother, uh, Whoa. got really, really into board games oh, okay. a few yep. years ago. Oh, hell yeah, you got it. Um, a few years ago, like, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago, he got really, really into board games. And so I have played a variety of them at this point. And they're, they're mostly pretty good. The ones he picks, anyway. Um, yeah, like, oh my god, when I tried to play Settlers of Catan for the first time. Holy shit. It really helps to be with people who are willing to guide you through as someone who's never experienced the thing before. Yeah. But not so great when there's like five other people who are way too into the game. It reminded me when I like tried playing League of Legends one time like years ago and then immediately uninstalled it after one game. Yeah. I yeah, like, hmm. I, I had a similar experience with League of Legends. I was like, this is the game everyone talks about every day, all the time. Um, oh no, but I don't care for that kind of game in the first place. Yeah. I was already pushing it. There was a Kickstarter my brother backed a while ago. For, I'm trying to remember what they were called exactly. It was something like Gum Pack Board Games. Where... Oh, yeah. They're basically card games where each one can effectively fit within a pack of gum. They are so small. Yeah, I've, uh, I've seen a few. They're really good. All the ones I played were really good. And they were, were they were short and simple and... I mean, not super simple always, but for the most part, really nice. Yeah. Makes me think about all the board games I brought to college. I brought, like, the SpongeBob Game of Life, Nickelodeon Seen It, Damn it. and NSYNC Backstage Tour. Oh, I'm low. Oh, I cannot do this level. I'm so sorry. There we go. Ooh, how did I make that? That'll tell you about my, uh, my, uh, or my, my wealth of experience and, uh, knowledge and passion with board games. And if I was, if, if I, if I were saying that Mall Madness is not my, one of my favorite board games of all time, I would be straight up lying. I saw that. We'd be at HGQ 2020 and, like, stopped at the board game to, do some fun stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, for like a couple hours. Wow. Oh my god. Uh, I, I like, like a hawk spawning a mouse in a field. I, I'm all madness and I'm like, we're playing this. And everyone's like, uh, okay. It was great. Played three games, didn't win a single one. Fantastic. It's a, it's like a, it's very luck based. Wait, seriously, death it, balls? What the hell? Well, they're I, never I, together like that. There well, we go. Maybe they, you know, worked out their differences. I guess. Saw the positives in each other and are having a good time together. I guess I should really just be happy for them. Yeah, asshole. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh have a good night, Eliza. There you go. You didn't have to do that. That <laughs> happens like way too often in this level. Or it just decides that when I go, it's gonna stop doing its thing. Thank you. Look at luck. Going to need it. all that gold I got. 
Okay, but certain someone's not here. Gotta start dedicating all the gold that would have been for golf when it's not here to Muzgrob. It's about time Muz gets the respect he deserves. Honestly, yeah. By the way, Muz, I have not heard Ooh. back from Choo Choo. Well. I am so sorry. Oh, <laughs> I could have jumped. That was 100% on me. That's fine. I had the timing to do, like, the jump skip, but I chose not to do it. Oh my god, I... Oh! Okay, I'm glad you died. They didn't see me. Also, Muzz, if you're still here, uh, I, I say you specifically because I'm pretty sure you're the only person here who knows who this is, but I just realized that Choo Choo's name is a pun. Yeah? His, his name what? is Chew, like chewing food. Chew Chew. Yeah. But it's twice, so it's like a choo-choo train. Uh, yes. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. That is the N-plus super mod, is who that is. Oh. Nice. I think they're also a super mod on V2, but V2 has another more active super mod. Is it Eddie? It is not Eddie. <laughs> okay. It is, uh, I want to say their SRC name is Grandma Sweets. They're pretty cool. Any, they, they've creams? been around for a long time. Hot huh, butter ice cream? They've been around at least since, like, 2015, I want to say. They, uh, yeah, the wrong one of us jumped in there. Uh... Since, like, 2015, they made a post on the N forums about N speedrunning. Uh, and set up, like, a leaderboard on the forums instead of an SRC page. Good. I so thought you meant the SRC forums. No, yeah, like, the like, uh, the old MetaNet forums. Nice. Imagine, like, the pure Chad move of setting up a leaderboard in the SRC forum. <laughs> That would be so good. Oh, you really gotta be kidding me there. You oughta be kidding me. Going back for that one gold for Muzz. I like the respect that was shown by the one and only Bo Peep and using our both our given names. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if Eliza even knows your given name. I'll speak with that. It's not like you try to hide it exactly, it's your Twitter and YouTube name. Yeah, well, that's mostly because my Gmail account. Well, yeah, but like you can change it on both of those. Can you change your YouTube? What? I think so. True. Oh, mm -hmm. definitely. Er, no, maybe. I don't know. Actually, don't... never mind. I don't think it's actually, because you can change like... It's like the account you change, self you change. Well, I was just thinking, like, um, my email for Oof. this account is zandoandy at gmail, uh, but my YouTube username is zandotoaster, and that's definitely because I made a separate YouTube account at one point. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. That should not have been that hard. <laughs> but it was. It's Game's hard. Muzz, I can't believe you. Not knowing Pepsi's name. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I really do this to myself sometimes. <sighs> I don't like this. Okay. My old YouTube, because uh, I linked, I, I merged with my old YouTube account that was, had a really epic middle schooler name. Oh, yeah? Uh, That's always good. Yeah. 
it's something like the final jazz drummer i think Ooh, what a name made it when i was like 11 and i was like oh my god it's so epic yeah and it still is <laughs> nah, but then i like so i can switch back and forth between that one and my current one but the videos are separate so it, it's like different channels but like on the same account true I often think about sometimes if I need to like, if there's some new fun law online introduced where it's just like, oh, I can't use this name anymore, <laughs> for, even for non-monetary purposes. Or if it's to, like a GDQ event and they're like, yeah, you can't go by that name anymore. That would be a GDQ thing because they're fucking corporate slaves, corpos. SMH GDQ. <laughs> No. <laughs> They'd be the last people to do this, something like that. I'm pretty sure... As I recall, Tomato Anus only changed his name by choice. GDQ didn't even ask him to. Yeah. 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 Like he made a tweet about that, but still... But still people don't care leave, or listen. Leave it to Reddit. Yeah. They'll just be like... <laughs> <laughs> Let me breathe through my mouth some more about this issue that I don't know anything about. Heck, heck. Okay, good. Oh, nice. There we go. Saving time? Is that gold? Probably not. No, you died like four times. Oh my god. <laughs> I died like twice. I think once, actually. I think it was twice, but one of them was late in the level. We lost like 11 seconds. Okay, sure. Whatever you say, butt face. <laughs> I'm just looking at the Sorry. timer. <laughs> you who has access to that information, yet I do not. <laughs> Speaking of... Oh, that was a gold. Good job on that. That was like two seconds. Oh, look up. Um, okay, I guess look at me. <laughs> Speaking of timers, it's been really funny for me doing Crash Bandicoot runs. Uh, just with how far my sum of best has gotten from my PB. It'll, yeah. it'll keep happening where I'll have a death just a really, really bad death in a level. And I'll think like, okay, well this run's dead. And then I finish the level anyway, and it's like, nope, I lost three and a half minutes there, and I can still PB by four minutes if everything else goes well. That's my favorite. Well, I can't wait to do my next bu Bug Fables run when I do more practice. Like an hour and a half of time save. Okay, okay. That was Easy time save. Scary. An hour if you see time save. I know you didn't watch that run for good, for good reason, but yeah, some of those boss fights, especially early on, were uh, a little disastrous. Okay. One of them in particular took like 15 minutes of retrying. I'm really happy I turned on my brain for a second there, because I almost hit reset for the transition skip when I hit the door, even though you hadn't opened it yet. Good. I'll say yes. Oh god, that was weird. the time oh my god you got this pep never again for that please oh no heck i i'm really I... tired of it happening yeah just like jumping off the slope and then getting a weird angle we'll go okay okay that was oh oh, stop it. oh my Death balls, wow. get out of there. Wow. Not allowed, you're banned. Oh, yeah. nice. How many minutes did we save there? Uh, like 30 seconds. Okay, that's And fine. we lost about 23 seconds. Okay. No, okay, all right. PB. 
two PVs ago. Yeah, that was really we died a bad lot at more. one point. <laughs> it was only kind of bad last time. This time was okay. Set myself up for success here. I'm really thinking at this point I will go for the Crash 1 NTSCU record. The fastest version is the Japanese version, but. Yeah. Is that, is NTSCU that doesn't lose too much time. Uh, or like skips? Uh, the levels are laid out differently. Oh. One level is. I think it's Road to Nowhere is like. 20 seconds shorter on the Japanese version. Uh, uh, the colored gem, I think it's like the red gem, is in a different level in the Japanese version, so there's one less backtrack you have to do. Uh, weird stuff like that makes the Japanese version faster. Man, uh, so many things almost went wrong. Oh, wait. You were on it for a second. No, I wasn't. That was a different level. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> this level is like the hardest level. <laughs> it really is. Of all time. There we go. Oh. Got that? But anyway, um. Covered in sweat now. Yeah, the NTSCU record oh. is already decent, but I. I. I'm pretty sure I can improve it by a little bit if I get. Not even a perfect run. Just a really good run. That'd be epic. Because basically, uh, if I get a really, really good run with my current strats, I would get like a 113. 113, maybe a 114. I'm playing on a PlayStation 1, and if I switch to a PlayStation 2, that'll save me like four minutes. Oh yeah, with the... Famicom Disk System. Yes. Uh, and then also, uh, there's a skip I don't do that saves about a minute, so I'll learn that. And it's a hard skip, but it's early in the run. Nice. Um, so yeah, with my 114 I could potentially get... Uh, Minus four minutes from loads, minus another minute from that skip. That would be a 109. And the NTSCU record is like a 109.18 or something. Heck yeah. So I'm... I'm kind of actually already basically there. Which is yeah. not something I ever expected to happen. Of the 1545 games, Crash 1 was always one that I thought like, yeah, maybe I'll try learning some of the better strats, but... Oh, here I, we go, here we go. I just want to be able to finish it in a not unreasonable amount of time. And then, boom, oh. I, I actually got good at it. Imagine getting good at a speedrun. I know, I can't. And then, I... Oof, my work. Oh, you can do it, you can do it. Let's go. <laughs> The estimate I heard is that the Japanese version saves, like, around two minutes over the NTSCU version, but speedrun community estimates for unoptimal versions, I have found, are usually very wrong. Yeah, because no one's tested them really. Yeah. It's so been just, tested like, by, by one runner who said, I'll try the unoptimal version for a bit, and then they just guess after that. Yeah, like been there. <laughs> yeah, I understand. No. Oh, remember when I worked that out? I do. I do remember. Me too. So well, that's cool. N plus plus, for example, nobody in our community knows how fast the cartridge version really is. Oh, I moved. I'm sorry. I forgot about that version entirely. I was gonna get it, and I was like, wait, oh, it cost money. Never mind. 
I don't need to buy it, the N plus plus again. I would buy it for you, except uh, Cartridge doesn't let you gift games. I wouldn't play it. I don't have the time <laughs> to play another M plus plus. I would just buy it for you for the hilarious joke of more people owning the cartridge version of the game. Bolstering the numbers. I gotta wonder how many people, how many people own that version. Well, when I played it, the intro leaderboards were not full. Oh. And most of them, I got the impression, were reviewers. Oh yeah. For the names, IGN four two five. Uh, no, but they, they reviewed the game in the, the comments below it on the page. Oh, yeah. uh, and then the other the other name who I know wasn't a reviewer, of course, was MetaNet Testing 5, my greatest high Thank scoring God. adversary. Right. The legend, formerly known as MetaNet Meta -te Meta -te Testing User 4. So, yes. good, big, ex mm -hmm. hey, Reagan anyway. has done a lot of good memes in our community, but MetaNet Testing 5 being a high scorer is one of my favorites. I forgot they did the fast cycle here, so I don't have to wait at all, really. Yeah, I'm glad I worked <laughs> that out. Ooh. Ooh, gold. Buy a little bit. Nope. Oh. Well, I guess we're not getting gold here. I don't know. No. Fucked it up. No, we're not. Because <laughs> <laughs> we actually have a nice gold here. Where I'm like right behind you and I just jump right in. You never know. Yeah, no, we're definitely not. One of those people who's like, I oh, just never know, but it's like, yeah, okay. You never know till it's over. Oof. I like how I just walked up that corner. I'm okay, so this. like there, uh, if uh -oh. you had aimed the laser higher, I could have gone down sooner. Oh, As an example, it. like don't do it right now because I probably usually won't, but but like when I say I'm pretty sure we can save time on this level, it's moments like that. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. What? Oh, God. There we go. Let's get this. Let's get the strat toaster. Let's get the strat. Gaming. I mean, we've already gotten it once or twice, but. Nick old, but. But got we can it. do it Let's again. Go. We can get it in a PB, even. That's a good point. Actually, it might be in our PB. I don't remember when we did it. I've been doing it for a couple weeks. Not always successfully, but... Uh, yeah, our current PB has has the gold on that level. Good. Hello, Daniel Numbers. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. I love that. Oh, why would I... I knew you landed there, and then I was just like, I'm also gonna land there. That looks cool. That's a nice, comfy place. Because usually I do, because I'm ahead, and it's fine. Gaming. I'm having trouble reading that font. Does that say Daniel R followed by a bunch of numbers? Or is it just Daniel? Daniel what? Heck. Yeah. No, I don't see an R there, never mind. There was a kind of big time end player named Daniel R. A hot shot plus plus player. Uh one point four player. Hot shot one point four player. And also V two a little bit. I think Daniel R had uh As I recall, Daniel R had the oh. zeroth on <laughs> God damn it. The level I went for my first top twenty or top ten on in V two. But a young toaster boy. Young B toaster boy. Stand B toasting. Oh, you're currently working on task tools for the game. Hell yeah. 
I was just saying earlier how cool it would be if those existed. <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate. That's not usually a level we mess up. Nah. A lot of cool fail jumps. It's my favorite kind of jump. Where you just don't. And then you panic and press the button a bunch. Yeah. It is cool that we're at the point in this row where losing a minute on a single level feels like a lot of time. <laughs> oh yeah, that didn't used to be the case. Yeah. Oof. Good old days. <coughs> Shit. Oh. Yeah, I we can't catch up to it at that point. How did we both miss that? I think I just jumped way early. I did too, yeah. Even earlier than normal. Oh god, stop that. But yeah, that'd be really cool if you could work that out. I think there's a lot of really cool stuff we could potentially do with multiplayer tasses. Three particularly. Three-player three uh, solo oh, God. Legacy x -Row or whatever. Well, I just mean like... Oh my god, I'm sorry. Like levels where you blow up specific mines for people and stuff. Yeah. Like that one in co-op Legacy x -Row. God, Yeah. Oh, I'm sad there aren't, there aren't more levels where blowing up mines would help. Because we've come up with some surprisingly consistent strats on some... in some places. Yeah, just gonna... Oh, <laughs> Noe. I hate this level. Yeah, this level kind of sucks. Practice it and it works. Then it doesn't work. Oh, that's death. I am not sure I do have useful memory pointers anymore. <laughs> um, I'd actually ask Traytix. Traytix was uh, doing quite a bit more than I ever did. Actually, no, wait, I'm sorry. I, I'm dumb. I would have the memory pointers I got. I, I mostly got uh, level ID and death count, and reset count, and that stuff. Um, which are all... I was there a mind there, Toaster. All available in, uh, in my death counter program that is pinned in the Discord that I think has the source code with it. Oh, Noe. I... Mm. Source code? Bro. What? <laughs> Gotta patent that shit. Gotta... Hat your N++ plugin thingy source code. Gotta upload everything as an EXE and just tell people, trust me, it's not a virus. I love that for, like, speedrun, like, game things. Where it's just like, I use this, uh, speedrun practice tool. Warning, warning, warning. Like, oh, oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. yeah. It's like, and they're just like, trust me, it'll work. It'll... I love it when people say that and they're like, GitHubs or whatever, it's like... Trust me, it'll say it's bad, but it works. Right. Um, you know, like, okay, I trust you. I remember in college, I thought it was really funny whenever I needed to send something to uh, one of the current Discord mods. Their name is Shaman. Uh, I used to talk to him all the time. Uh, and whenever I had to email something to him, I would always make the description something like, Hot ladies in your area! Or something like that. And one time I did manage to get it in his spam folder. Nice. I was so proud of myself. That's a dream. It really Ooh. is. There's one of Hangman's patented long messages we can't read. Dang, yeah. Someday we'll we'll get technology. 
that just loudly reads and screams every message in chat. Oh god, I wish. I wish I had that. But it has to be in an almost unintelligible accent. Well, I read the first, like, eight words, and I gather it's some kind of anti-vax thing. Oh, wow. Just flew in there. I'm gonna go ahead and guess Hangman has an anti-vaxxer in his friend group. Is the issue. Is that what the problem is? The world may never know. We can only assume. Oh, I saw the word Facebook in that second message, so I know. Oh boy, yeah. So we now we know. <laughs> and shout out to Facebook, and all the people I know who still use it, like almost daily, to like update their life. Like whatever, whatever works for you, man. They all write the same way too. It's a very specific, like range of emotion. It's weird. I think you can do studies on it. There you go. Nice. Um. Yeah. Are you going to have your grandparents or parents use Discord? Not oh gonna, my god. Not going to happen. <gasps> oh no! Some of the... Some of those oh, jumps did not work. Fuck. There we go. Okay. Ooh, okay. Got a running okay. start. Perfect. No problems. Everything's fine. First try. Ooh. This is gonna be weird. Oh, is this not comfy? There we go. Okay. It worked out. Ugh, I hate this. I almost just screamed like I lost my firstborn child. There you go. Oh, you flew through that. Oh, hey, we're here. Sure are. I forgot to wait again. That, that, that should be enough, actually. That little side to side. To be quite honest. Oh, could I could have been a Chad. I'm full alpha gamer. Remember that? Oh my god, wow. I figured about that time. WQ and all that. Life is so mysterious sometimes. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Oh, I see, Hangman. I just got around to reading the full message. Yeah, that is annoying. Oh, oh Go no! On. Oh yeah, no. Okay, I got caught in the corner. Go for it. No, please. After you. <laughs> That's a weird trajectory. Trajectory. This is a bad cycle to be on, but... Yeah, it really is. The way, like... Seven more rotations. Actually, maybe one more. No.
There you go. That works. I don't like that, but it works. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, just okay. Make sure. Waiting out the whole cycle, I see. I I tried to stop and then just failed to. How much time did we save or lose on that level? Uh, we oh lost... My oh, we saved 8 seconds to PB. Yeah, that's what I figured. We lost uh, nearly 90 seconds to best seg. That's about right. It's okay, maybe the next run will be a 45. This run actually was really good. Uh, yeah. Up to that. I mean, I well, guess it wasn't great. That was... There's a few levels before There have been a couple work. of levels where we've lost about that much, but... Still. Don't die, don't die. Okay. We, we were on 45 pace, or 44 pace going into that level, so... We're Oops. getting better. Ugh. God, I... Corners? Just... Love them. Can't get enough. Corner? I hardly know her. Where's the laugh track? Where is it? The live studio audience to do the... Oh! oh. Where's 2% milk to appreciate my joke? Somehow we always get out of those weird situations there. We just appear together through that mine. We've gotten really good at that. Just in general, staying in sync through mines. Yeah. I think we've gotten a good sense of where the maximum safe distance is. Yeah. Ooh, uh, okay. Nice. Oh, thank god. I made it at a not scary time for you, for once. Oh, there we go. I know how it usually goes there. Yeah. Um, Dan, there is one... I should call you Daniel, because there's another person named Dan who I talk to sometimes. But anyway, there is one level in particular... Oh, I shouldn't have jumped then. That I will bring up after this run to point out and say, this is the level that I want to see tasked. Uh, I don't know the level. It's, it's that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. I mean, it's a two-player level that I think... No, you could probably pass it with two people. It would just be stupid and insane. First try. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah! What a gamer. Whoa. That was closer than that loose has ever been. Not ready for that. Oh, I'm not catching that. Ooh, how am I? I'm living. Barely. Nope. Okay. But yeah, I, I've always thought that... Uh... That was weird. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. Perfect. Um... Oh my god. Full category task runs of this would be cool, but I always thought that individual level stuff would be cooler. Because yeah. so much of full game runs is doing simple levels the simple fast way. Yeah, pick and... out like the funner levels. Yeah. Great. More entertaining Heck, also. I'm dead. As a viewer. Oh my god, how am I missing that? Can I do this? No, that's not an option. Oh, this isn't a hard one. Come on, toaster. There we go. There we go. Okay, yeah, there we go. 
Go. Oh my god, that was so slow. Because, yeah, I mean, doing stuff like eeny, meeny, miny, moan, uh, T++ without slowing down would be so cool. <laughs> As an example, but that, uh, that would be hard, also. <laughs> Okay, Pepsi, you got this. Okay. Oh. Oh. I'll try. Yeah, uh, good luck. Actually, I can't just do that, too. Yeah, sorry. Oh. Oh, <laughs> let's go. You're amazing. Ain't about to lose time. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, nice. Here we are. The precipice of the speed run. God. I always panic when Me I'm too. over a mine that, uh, has a body part on it. Because I see the explosion, then I don't focus on you jumping. So it just looks like you just vanish. I'm yeah, sorry. same. Like, well, there he is. Even when I know I should be looking at my body, uh, I just see the explosion and nothing else. I'm gonna have to make like a sad 90s montage of your death. Like, okay. can't log into the background. Oh, that one. That one got me. Heck. Shout outs to that one. Shout outs to that one. The top left one. Fuck. And that one. How about C? <laughs> game. Oh, game. Okay. That was still my fault. Oh, the death counter program I made was also in C-sharp. C-sharp sharp. Is that a thing? No. Oh. Well, I mean, I don't know, maybe somebody's made that. That's not a popular thing. Because that would be my pro like language of choice for N++ stuff. C-sharp sharp. What?! Whoa. That's a new one. But I mean, people make meme programming languages all the time, so it, it's very possible somebody made that. I can't believe I didn't just die. I can. For me, though. I can believe I did just die. I <laughs> fell curious. so my body was like halfway down that one way where the drones go in before I jumped mm. out. Mm. Pepsi. You got this. Mm. We both do. We both do. Mm. Oh. I just don't like this level to start at that drone section. Yeah, the start of this level kind of sucks. We should laugh about this one day. We as in me. Yeah, probably. Oh, but I cannot God. do it without you because I do not have this level unlocked. Uh, this level is costing us sub 50. <laughs> no, it's not. It's fine. Okay. So we turn, just turn back time. <laughs> Shit, the middle one. Okay, I'm gonna hit everyone now. Do it. I've hit everyone except the top right. Then I gotta hit it, each individual one on the right side. Fuck, dude. Oh my god. Shout out to Night Terror. I don't really need to post source code as they decompile super well. I mean... I think posting source code is Why? more of a, uh, what's the word I want? Not formality, but, like, something people do to be nice. Oof. I don't know, like, I've been programming for 
years now, and I don't think I've ever used a decompiler. Because why would I? People usually post the source code. Do not beef the end. Beef. There we go. Uh, 5033. Okay. okay. And, yeah, before 